Humanique is a financial ecosystem designed to help 2 billion people living in developing countries who are separated from the global market and uh, don't have the opportunities to use banker services. Our international team found a solution based on blockchain technology that is able to include previously isolated community into modern economy. During the project preparation, we reached a large number of experts, including Vitaly Buterin. His platform Ethereum was chosen for prototype of our project. Users uh, get access to the platform through a mobile wallet using uh, personal biometric identification. It was important for us to receive feedback from the community in order to be trusted. The blockchain community around the world has embraced the idea of banking 4.0 for developing countries with great enthusiasm. And what about the inhabitants of those countries, you may ask? Recently, Humanic have visited India to conduct a social experiment. In the slums of Ahmedabad, we conduct a business game that simulated Humanic mobile wallet. Uh, we just replaced a cryptocurrency with artificial and banknotes. We invited locals to take a part in the game. Firstly, every player had to go through identification. The papers containing the letters of the English alphabet served as a passport. Humanic Mobile Wallet used the identification solving the problem of illiteracy or the lacking of documents. Each player was given a passport together with 10 Humanic banknotes. Additionally, three of them uh, were given them for the start of the game. In this way, we were able to simulate how Humanic tokens will be mined by user completing transactions. The game participant could make any kind of transactions between themselves, exchanging basic services for coins. For their first transactions, the seller and the buyer received additional coins as rewards. Furthermore, extra rewards were given if the participants were performing specific tasks assigned by the game moderators. The winner was the one who had the maximum amount of the banknotes by the end of the game. The game lasted uh, for two hours. In order to create more engagement, we also set symbolic price for the first uh, three winners, 350 rupees, uh, it's about six dollars. It was perhaps the most exciting performance that I have seen. In addition, the participants also random spectators crowded. Friends and relatives started playing as well, advising the players how to better manage their finance. This spontaneous and passionate movement wasn't easily controlled. Our uh, Indian assistant, uh, the moderators of the game, did a great job following the rules and recording transactions. Or without them, we wouldn't have made it. Well, it's time to sum up. Uh, winner number one was a person who gathered other 10 participants and collected with them 263 artificial banknotes. My friends know me well. I'm the oldest. I'm religious and I have a job. My brother was the first to give me all his money. Then I attracted others. We agreed that we were going to split the prize among us. Thank you very much. Thank you. The second and third prize was won by two other participants who similarly merged their capital with other players. We acquired winners and thanks all participants of this small but very relevant social experiment. Everyone, including us, was deeply inspired by the results. We saw that even in the poorest area, there are powerful social networks that can be used and developed. There's people who don't have Facebook or Twitter, but they have each other they build strong bonds to overcome together the many hardships that life unfortunately gives us. Most of things are achievable together as a unit. Humanic wants to connect their community, allowing them to join their forces and be part of the global economy. All of you will be able to join us, find our the latest white paper and other materials on our website humanic.co it's important for us we don't just dream it we make it real